My name is Young Marine Sergeant Luke Stormsky. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about the sacrifices our heroes make. So many people go up to our veterans when they see one and say, thank you for your sacrifices or thank you for your service. But do they really stop and think about how much they sacrifice? I do. I have seen them with my own eyes and heard with my own ears just how much our, our heroes have sacrificed. I've seen the sacrifices our wounded heroes made since I was four, only four or five years old. They voluntarily go and fight for our freedoms, and many return home, wounds seen and unseen. I've watched heroes who, who have sacrificed their limbs and struggled to learn how to walk all over again, or to learn how to drive the car. I've seen them sweat and work hard in physical therapy to build their strength back up. But they do it, and I'm always proud of them. I've seen heroes struggle with an invisible wound called PTSD. Sometimes I can even tell just by looking into their eyes that they are struggling with what they saw during the war. They have nightmares and flashbacks that will never be erased from their minds for as long as they live. And then I've seen the ultimate sacrifice. I have been to many funerals for our heroes who have given their lives for our freedom. I have walked through Arlington Center countless times and I've seen the hollow ground where our heroes rest in peace. I will never take our heroes' sacrifice for granted, and I will never take my freedom for granted. Since I see so many of, our, of the sacrifices our heroes make, I wanted to do something to get back to them. So I spearheaded the program called Honor and Courage to help our wounded heroes with wounds both seen and unseen. I'm a youth motivator for Honor and Courage, and my mission is to motivate people of all ages to get moving, put down the video games, and be active to get out into the fresh air. I want to educate our youth about the sacrifices our heroes make, and I want to inspire everyone to give back, whether it's in your community or giving back to those who sacrifice so much for us. I am also a part of a foundation called Operation Enduring Warrior. I run as many extreme obstacle courses, challenges, and 5Ks as I can while carrying our colors in honor of our fallen and People think that since I spend so much time with our wounded heroes and see their devastating wounds, that it will change my mind about becoming a Marine and serving my country someday. But it doesn't. Sometimes I think it makes me feel a little stronger. I remember in the third grade, I was giving a speech to my class about my fallen hero, First Lieutenant Travis Manning. Travis gave the ultimate sacrifice in Iraq on April 29, 2007. He was shot by an enemy sniper while saving and protecting his men. Another boy in my class asked me a question. He said, if, Tra if Travis died, why would you want to be a Marine if that could happen to you? My answer to that day was, so that you don't have to. To my classmates, I have a message for you. Make sure you surround yourself with good, positive people. Get in the room, put the video games down, and get active. Give back. Together we can make a huge difference. I'd like to leave you with three quotes that I think are very motivating and inspiring. The first quote is, one is, the first quote is, one that I say a lot, do the wrong great thing even if you're the only one doing it. The second one is, for my hero, Todd Love, I will never see failure unless I choose to. The third one is, for my hero, Tyler Southern, take it all in stride and keep going. At this time, I'd like to introduce my mom, my mom Heather Slowinski, the program director of Operation War 57, Iron Bridge Program.